So can you delete this take and I'll take it one more time. Hi guys, welcome to the space. Today we're going to be talking about body odor. Body odor. And most people usually believe like sweat is like a major cause of body odor, but sweat is actually not. Now when it comes to the sweat in our skin, we have two types of glands of sweat. So we have the apocrine gland and we have the eccrine gland. The apocrine glands can be found in our armpits and like around the pubic area, whereas the eccrine glands can be found all over the body. Now the eccrine glands are made up of salt and water, so they are odorless and they are colorless, whereas the apocrine glands are made up of proteins and fats. They are odorless, but they are not really so colorless they do have like a slight tint to them now sweat stinks because when the apocrine gland secretes some of the oils and fats onto the surface of our skin these oils and fats begin to interact with the bacteria that naturally exist in our skin so when the bacteria starts to feed on it or starts to interact with the oils in our skin it will make the oils go rancid and when the oils go rancid they start to stink here's how to get rid of unpleasant odors number one when you come out fresh out of the shower make sure your body is properly dried and i'm not just talking about your overall body i'm talking about like the corners and the crevices of your body make sure that it is properly dry before you go on to moisturize because if you go ahead to moisturize in those areas you're going to trap some moisture and when you trap some moisture you're going to leave room for bacteria to come in to do what bacteria does which is causing odor the second thing you can do is to use an antibacterial deodorant instead of an antiperspirant so an antiperspirant prevents you from sweating whereas a deodorant prevents you from smelling a perfume is not going to do anything it doesn't have any antibacterial properties it's not going to hide the stink it's in fact going to mix in with the stink and just create a new stink so no the other thing that you can do in the shower that would really help to cut down on unpleasant smells is to use an antibacterial wash acids like AHAs and BHAs help to fight bacteria so examples are lactic acid glycolic acid mandelic acid malic acid like there are many acids out there so if you're using any wash with some acids and it can also help to to cut down the smell if all of this fail you can go and get a benzoyl peroxide wash benzoyl peroxide is like one of the strongest prescriptions out there that you can put into a wash that has antibacterial properties so you can get benzoyl peroxide in two percent five percent and that's really just going to help you fight the bacteria if you like combine all these things or you, know, you at least just take one thing from everything i've said it will definitely help you fight unpleasant odors so if you found this video please give it a thumbs up like <laughs> and share it to someone that needs it or save it for yourself if you need help to create an effective skincare routine feel free to hit the link in my bio i would love to help you and yeah see you guys in another video